Hey y'all, what is up? It's Kimberly and I'm finally back on YouTube. I'm so excited to be back. I really miss making videos and editing videos. I'm pretty sure I said that last time, but things happen, life happened, and I ended up taking a month long break from it again. Um, but I'm really excited to get back on track. I have a few good video ideas planned and collaborations planned too, so stay tuned for that. Whew. And if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Kimberly. Uh, this is my channel, Kim Crosses Borders. I'm an American and I make videos about Germany. So if that's your cup of tea, if that's your thing, please consider subscribing to my channel. It costs you absolutely nothing and it really helps this channel out. Also, if you're excited for this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Now that I've gone over all of that, let's go ahead and get started with this video. So today I want to talk about ways that I'm different in the U.S. versus Germany. I've been living in the U.S. now for about four or five months after living in Germany and I've noticed that there are significant ways and little ways that I'm different in the U.S. Not just personality wise but also how my day to day life and living goes. Um, so I thought that would be really interesting to make a video on these differences. I thought maybe that would be something that's interesting to y'all. Again, a lot of this is just lighthearted stuff. All right, so let's get started. Number one is that I definitely have more daily activity in Germany than in the U.S. In Germany, I was killing my 10,000 step a day goal. Um, in the U.S., it's a lot harder. I can average around 2,000 to 4,000 steps a day, which is horrible um, and the reason for that is in the US I use a car versus in Germany I use public transportation or I just walk somewhere um, and yeah it's just easier to get in steps that way because even if you're taking public transportation you have to walk to the public transportation place and then you you're still walking a distance um, here I literally just go down the hallway, go down the elevator, and basically get in my car. So I'm getting zero daily activity here and it sucks. I got a puppy so I am getting more activity in that way, but if I didn't have him, I'm pretty confident I would be getting around 500 to 1,000 steps a day. No joke, not even exaggerating, it's really bad and I think that is a large factor contributing to the obesity problem here in America is that people are not getting enough steps, they're not getting enough daily activity because again, the environment is not set up for that. Sidewalks are incomplete here, um, there's no public transportation or a lack of public transportation and it's just not a walking culture. But anyways, I could go on a rant about that for hours, so I'm not gonna bore y'all, but that's definitely a big difference. So number two is that I engage in a lot more small talk in the US, and I feel like I'm overall more sociable here. So when I first got back, it was actually a big culture shock to me because I would go to Kroger and the cashier wasn't pissed off and she wanted to ask me how my day was and ask me personal questions. That kind of threw me off because I'm used to like, when you go shopping in Germany, it's like you get your stuff, you go to the line, you check out and that's pretty much it. Like you definitely have individual cashiers that are more friendly and that will ask more questions, I guess, but not to the same extent of the way that Americans do in grocery stores. And especially now since I have a puppy, oh my gosh. I talk to so many people. Pretty much every single person I pass while I'm walking my puppy wants to make small talk with me, ask me what kind of breed I have, how old he is. So I think that's also contributed to why I am a lot more sociable and I have a lot more small talk. Um, so I moved into this apartment and I think it was literally two weeks that I... Oh, he's getting feisty. I don't know if y'all can hear that. Anyways, I moved into this apartment complex and I think two weeks later, I was already becoming friends with people at the apartment complex. It was that easy. That would have never happened to me in Germany. Not trying to say that it doesn't happen, just from my personal experience, it was hard to make friends with people that I was seeing on an everyday basis in Germany. Like I really had to put myself out there versus here it's a bit more easy and free flowing. Okay, so number three is that I definitely wear a lot more color in the US than in Germany. In Germany, I would pretty much stick to neutral colors, black, white, beige, and I do in the US, 
too but I definitely find myself wearing just a little bit more color because I don't want to be stared at like I'm a weirdo emo person um because it's definitely I think a little bit more asocial here to wear just like solid colors versus in Germany if you're wearing bright colors I think it's a little bit more asocial it's like why are you wanting to stand out be different da 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 versus in the US it's like I think it's perceived more so as like your emo um so I try to wear more colors here just because that's the thing but I'm really not that into wearing bright colors like I used to be I definitely like if I do wear colors I stick to like a pastel pink or like a red color because I think I look pretty good in red but yeah so that's definitely a huge difference so now that we're talking about fashion I'm gonna go ahead and also say that I definitely think I'm a lot more fashionable in Germany than in the US I think I definitely like try a little bit harder to look good versus in the US it's like not as I feel like it's more socially acceptable to look a little bit like a bum than it is to like be fashionable if that makes sense like I feel totally confident wearing like gym shorts and like back in stock and socks outside than I would in Germany like and then I would also feel very uncomfortable if I go super dressed up outside people are gonna be like oh why is she doing that so i definitely think i'm a lot more fashionable in germany than in the us i don't even know if fashionable is a word is it i don't know i don't even know what number we're on i think this is number five but generally speaking i drink a lot less in the u.s than in germany like significantly less and i think again that's just the way the environment is set up in germany alcohol is way more accessible than in the u.s and it's a big social point so that's how a lot of people get together and socialize is by drinking and by going to a spate by walking uh, like on the streets you know drinking a beer versus in texas in the u.s it's illegal to drink on the streets in most places um and it's just not as big of a thing here um beer alcohol here is just way more expensive and in my opinion it's not worth it i think what a lot of people do here instead of drinking is that they get together and they go out to eat that's a bigger thing here so i definitely drink a lot less a lot a lot less in the u.s and than in germany and my liver probably thanks me for it Okay, so this is my last point, and this is actually the point that probably makes me the saddest of all, is that I definitely have noticed that I'm way less of a risk taker and, and like adventure seeker in the US compared to in Germany. And the reason why I believe that that is so is because here where I'm living, this is where I grew up, this is what I'm comfortable with. So I don't see a need to go out and explore. Maybe it has something to do with COVID. Maybe it will completely change once all of this blows over. But in Germany, I was just so down to do anything, absolutely anything. Like I could, I would get on a train and I would just go to any country like at any time. I remember one time I was leaving Germany and like two nights before Max and I were just like, let's freaking take a car to poland and let's just go and i was down and i remember the night before i left i packed everything up um in germany like we came back it was just crazy so i definitely noticed that i'm less of an adventure seeker risk taker um which kind of kills me because i think that i am pretty adventurous but in the u.s I'm just not. Maybe if I lived in a different state, a place that I didn't grow up in, I would feel like I would get that part of me back. But as of right now, I'm just chill. Like I'm cool with being in bed, watching YouTube videos, watching Zac Efron's new documentary on Netflix, Down to Earth, and just straight chilling. I don't need to do adventurous things. I don't need to see people. I'm a lot less of an adventure seeker nonetheless i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know down in the comments below if you've ever lived in two different places have you noticed that there's a difference or a change with you and your personality the way you do everyday things 
or is it just me? Am I just a weirdo? And again, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet. It's very important. All right, guys, until next time, ciao, tschüss, bis dann.